the Manitourgium, which has the oil, the sacred chrism from my priestly ordination, is given to my mother, and then the stole, when I first said the words, I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, is given to my father. And then this will be taken with them when they die. So then, thank you. So they can take it to heaven. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> so then when they go to heaven, the Lord says, you know, what have you done on earth? They can present it and say that they gave their only son to the priesthood of Jesus Christ. So, Mom, Dad. So, I'm a priest now. It's pretty sweet, I'm gonna lie. So, uh, yeah, let's do this, let's say mass. <laughs> Going through the seminary, I was often asked the question, how did you know what your vocation was? And after I would give a tear-jerking account of my vocation story, I would say something along the lines of, I think that our vocations are simply living out how God is calling us to love. I urge all of us here to pray. What does this look like in my life? How is Jesus calling me to love? If you already know, it's wonderful. Then ask, how can I live out my vocation to the absolute full? Because love, love like this, love that is rooted in Jesus Christ, that is where our hearts are longing for. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. I would not be standing here right now if it wasn't for every single one of you that is here. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you all deserve to thank Who else did I need to thank? Oh, my family, yeah. <laughs> you said, let's do Mass at the beginning of Mass. You did it. It was valid. Congratulations. <laughs> And yes, we are happy to have you as our brother, so congratulations. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Thank you.
In Joshua 24, 15, it says, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. With that we pray. Bless us, O Lord, in these our gifts, which we are about to receive from thine bounty to Christ our Lord. Amen. My parents always told me that Josh was excited to have a baby sister, but for some reason, he always acted like he had a baby brother. <laughs> Josh and I definitely gave our parents a run for their money. We did not make it easy on them. However, it did not take us very long to realize that no matter how much we complained or compared our lives to other children, we were not going to get away with placing anything in front of our faith. Eventually, Josh and I caught on and decided to embrace our faith and make it the most important thing in our lives. And for that, I will be forever grateful. Josh has a way with words, and he absolutely did threaten me that if I threw him under the bus too many times tonight, he would get revenge while saying that my homily if I ever got married. <laughs> Many people have asked me when I first saw a vocation to the priesthood in you. The answer has always been the same. I saw it at a very early age. Several hours ago, you literally laid down on the floor at the cathedral. And I wept. Perhaps as Mary wept, knowing the difficult road ahead for her son. I pray, Father Joshua, that you will minister to all those in need, to speak truth with love, and to always love as Jesus loves. Cast your net wide, dear son, and remember your vows to serve God faithfully and obediently. I pray you will bring many souls to Christ, and may you do this to the day you take your last breath. Amen. <laughs>